Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video editing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use master clip effects in Adobe Premiere Pro and when and why you might use them. So here's a little example sequence that I have laid out, and I have one original long clip here. This is a clip shot from the window of a train. It's pretty long, and you see what it is. Now, if I have this clip on the timeline, for example, let's say I edited it into some sort of sequence, as you see here, Let's say some cool flashback sequence where I kept cutting to different memories in between this train ride. So we see the same clip is kind of spliced in over and over in six or seven instances throughout the clip. And there's many projects where you might have one clip cut up and appearing multiple times throughout your project. Now let's say as I was editing, I thought, no, I actually want to make this sequence black and white or something. So I head over to the effects panel. I can look for something like tint and I can drag that onto the clip and I can add whatever else I want. Now you'll see that if I want to make every single instance of this clip black and white or whatever else effect, I have to actually add either the effect on every single time this clip appears or I have to use adjustment layers over the whole thing or something. So this is where you can use something called master effects. So we can see when I add an effect onto a clip, that little effects badge turns purple or another color, and that means there's effects on it. And when it's gray, that means there's no effects on it. However, if I go to the clip and I go to the effects controls, you'll see in the top of the effects control, we can either apply the effect onto this instance of the clip or if I go to this tab over it says master I can actually apply a master effect over the whole original source clip so in this case if I add a tint in this master window or whatever else effect I wanted you'll see that we now get this red underline appearing over every single instance of the clip and in the source window as well we see the clip take on that effect so now when I go through and look at all my clips, they all have the same master effect controls or master effect. And I was able to get that black and white look on every single instance of the clip without having to do it one by one. And even when I go through other clips and I right click them, I can remove attributes and remove all those attributes. Maybe I did want to zoom in on one particular cut or whatever, but they all have the same unified color that I wanted. And no matter how I drag or cut in and work with this clip, it will always have those master effects applied on them unless I go into the master effects panel and turn them off or delete them or change them. You can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all my new videos and check out more editing tips and tutorials in the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.